Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Hi Lex. Hi Denise. Hi Dacia. Hi Angelica. Hi Sheena. So, I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to join in on the live and to share it. Hi Marie. I have uh, someone sent us in a really great question and hi Seven. Hope you're having a good Monday. So We got a really good question that got sent in for today. Hi, Kia. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Vicky. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, I want to go ahead and get started. So someone asked a really great question and I told her I would cover it in today's live, right? And this question was from Tiffany. Hi, G. Uh, a grand goddaughter of mine, meaning like it's my goddaughter's godchild, okay? <clears throat> and she asked a really a really good question because we often talk about the ego when the ego is in its negative state or it's in it's in its negative form and sometimes the ego is really tricky hi Charlie the ego is really tricky and the ego has many different tools and techniques of working its way around. And so this person asks a really great question. Hi, Mambo. But I want to take the last few drags before I go into the question because once I get into it, I got a lot to say. Hi, Erica. Got a lot to say. So, oh. And for those of you who aren't aware, you know, yeah, exactly, Moon Charlie. Hi, Bonnie. Um, Erica, for the temple, got us a stove and a fridge. Mama got us a new microwave. So we got almost we pretty much have all the appliance to have the kitchen redone and hi Lynette to have the kitchen redone and I am going to try to do a before and after because I always tend to forget to take the before pictures and trust me that kitchen is a wreck so I can't wait to do the before and after for you guys because I think you I think we're gonna make it really nice hi Chaz so we had this question sent in by Moon Charlie 
And the question is this. Is it right or sometimes wrong to look for the good in a person? Oh yeah, all of it. Is it right or sometimes wrong to look for the good in a person? I myself always have always saw the good in people and sometimes it brings me misery because sometimes the person isn't who I thought they were or they they are mean or nasty or whatever. I know I know I'm in no position to judge others, but we live in a world that judges others constantly. So I'm guessing what I'm asking is, how can we protect ourselves by falling into the trap by looking for the good in others? Is it wrong or right to do so? And is it an ego thing? This is a really great question. So, we don't really like to work in the ideas of right and wrong. However, I myself have also had this problem. It's a very popular problem, especially among spiritual people. Spiritual people tend to always focus or look at the good in other people and ignore the bad. And it is an ego-based thing, okay? The ego can work in a way where it neglects or rejects any part. So it will neglect to see the negative side of a person or neglect to see the positive side of a person and one of the things that the ego does is the ego likes its systems it makes the work of the ego a lot easier than trying to have to figure out each individual as an individual so for this person the system is to always see the good in the person which means you're not actually seeing the person at all because in order to see the good, you have to also see the bad as well. In order to see the whole person, you need to be able to see the good and you need to be able to see the bad. And everyone has both sides. So everyone has a side which is good and a side which is bad. So what you're doing is you're not actually accepting the total person, the whole person. You're accepting the side that fits into the judgments you already have. That fits into like the puzzle pieces, the spaces in the puzzle as you've left them open. So therefore, you'll see those good pieces to fit into that side of the puzzle, but you're not actually accepting the whole person. To accept the whole person means you have to see both the good and the bad and accept both. And accept that most people are actually neither good or bad. Most people do not have the capacity to be good or bad. What do I mean by this? What I mean is most people do not have the ability to be good or to be bad because the first requirement is to be able to think for yourself. And most people cannot think for themselves. Even when most people believe they are thinking for themselves, oftentimes it's a pre-programmed belief that they received long way back. So the ego always looks at things from a partial perspective. So it's not necessarily that it's wrong, right or wrong, it's just not wise. It leaves you in a, posi a position of disempowerment and it also leaves you in a position of eventual disappointment because everyone has the good and everyone has the bad. And so the ego does not like to accept. When you see a person and you only see their good qualities and you only focus on their good qualities, you're actually not accepting that person as a total, as a whole. Most people are neither good nor bad because most people cannot think for themselves. Most people can do not control their actions. Most people are running on autopilot. So most people autopilot their reactions the same way that you've autopiloted judging people as essentially good. I know that was a long one. 
okay so the ego for you autopiloted that you automatically see people as good and in that autopilot setting that you have it ignores or won't pay attention to the negative sides of that person. It'll even make excuses for it, or it just won't see them. It'll leave you and it'll give you a blind spot. The truth is, most people contain both parts. So, because they contain both parts, most people are neither good nor bad. Instead, sometimes people do good things because the autopilot program has been programmed that way and sometimes people do bad things again because the program has been programmed that way most people do not make conscious decisions about their actions or their words before they act okay so instead most people are running on whatever program they were given usually before they even turn 20 years old you have pretty much the basis of the programs which you're going to use to live your life with right instead okay instead the way to look at it is in a more complete version so that means when I when you meet someone or when you start dealing with someone okay knowing the way that your system is set you're set to see just the good in people knowing that you're gonna start to look for what is it that I'm not seeing about this person or what is it that I'm not seeing or not accepting about this person which may be negative what am I refusing to acknowledge, or accept, or see about that person? A lot of times, you're going to start to pick up on all those negative things, okay? However, you have to be careful not to automatically fall into the judgment that because you now start to see that these negative things, that the person is necessarily bad. That's not the case. In most cases, that person is neither good nor bad because they don't have the conscious ability to control and therefore decide their behavior and how they're going to act. Most people are controlled by their thoughts and feelings and patterns. Thoughts and feelings lead them into certain actions which lead them into patterned actions. Most people cannot see that. Therefore, most people cannot stop that cycle. And I'm going to say this too because I see it all the time. Including people who are mm, so-called on the spiritual path. I'm not saying that they're not on a spiritual path. I'm just saying that there's a few ingredients missing in the soup, okay? And being on the spiritual path, okay, does not equate that you have all the ingredients to the soup. Because the soup carries a lot of ingredients. High star, yeah, wishful thinking will block clarity okay it's the same thing like i said to someone earlier today a lot of times people don't want to accept <clears throat> who or what they see instead they sit hoping on the potential that you see in someone potential is bullshit Potential does not always become actual. Everyone has potential. Very few people ever reach the heights of their potential. If you're in love with someone's potential, you're not in love with them. Hi, Thea. 
if you're in love with someone's potential or how they could be you're not in love with them you're in love with a fantasy idea of them you're in love with who they could be but you're not in love with who they are it's a hard fact that most people don't want to hear about people but most people do not love other people as they are they love other people's potential you know from what I understand you know Meek Mill had had potential so that he could have did it on his on his own without the whole P Diddy situation but potential does not always become actual okay so a lot of people are not accepting of the actual person that they're dealing with that right there is an ego trick so the question was is it an ego based thing to just see the good in people yes it's an ego based thing because you're not seeing the total person you're not accepting that total person you're rejecting the part of the person that does not fit in your box that does not make you comfortable that is not going along with the puzzle as you've been building it and does not go along the same track as you know it to be okay when that happens what ends up occurring is you're gonna get a shock you're gonna get a big shock and you're gonna act so surprised but it's really not that surprising okay you're gonna act really surprised you're gonna feel really shocked but in reality oftentimes all of those things were already showing you you just didn't want to accept well that's someone says here Denise says and the ego gives the false pretense that you can fix them it does no one can fix anyone this is how you know you know Jesus ain't telling the truth no one can save anyone you must save yourself you must fix yourself and it's very egotistical to believe that you can fix other people that's that's like the height of the ego that you have the power to fix other people and to make people do things that they're not equipped to do see a lot of you hi love a lot of you <clears throat> really want to help people and that's great however you cannot help he who cannot help himself who is not willing to help himself most people do not see anything wrong with themselves most people never look in the mirror okay they never take a deep look in the mirror okay and so most people that you're gonna want to help a lot of times some of the worst cases that I see that I'm like oh my god I want to help okay I'm like yeah they they really don't want to help themselves that's why they're in such a shitty situation that makes you feel a bit of compassion for them but you have to realize that actually they love their shitty situation and a lot of times when you go to help these individuals they will do everything in their power to stay in that shitty situation and you're gonna end up frustrated you're gonna end up upset you're gonna ask yourself stupid questions like why isn't my work working the reason your work is not working is because you did not do a deep enough dive into that person and the mechanics of that person when you did the initial divination in that initial divination is when you're supposed to be assessing is this person actually willing to help themselves and if they tell me that 
you're not supposed to go based on what people tell you that's why the hell you have psychic powers that's why we call it divination you're supposed to look deeper than that and see are they just giving you what you want to hear instead of what's actually true a lot of people will tell you whatever you want to hear in order to get your help a lot of people who don't want to help themselves will tell you whatever they they think you want to hear in order to get your help so that when your help doesn't work because they're not willing to do anything they can blame it on you okay they can blame it on you as to why things didn't work out yeah so yeah you do you have to kind of let people fall fall first in order so that people can learn so somebody says Mabo J says like if you care about someone in their path and you can't fix them do you let them fall first so they can learn that's the only way people learn people generally do not learn from good things people learn from negative experiences because learning from good things would be too easy and that's not pleasing to the ego the ego hates simplicity you know how simple it is to not have problems it's so simple but most people lack the capacity how you not do not have problems is you simply refuse it sounds really simple but it's actually quite complicated you actually have to have a high level of personal power to refuse to allow anything to take your power from you but it's a hard choice and that choice comes with other sacrifices and a lot of times people could make the choice but they're not willing to make the other sacrifices that would have to naturally occur if I made that choice okay oh, okay yeah so something someone mentions here which I think is great right it's she says so simple drink your water and mind your business yeah that's pretty much how I I pretty much operate I pretty much operate minding my business but most people cannot mind their business because a lot of people are addicted to problems and drama and so when they don't have a problem or they don't have a drama they get themselves involved in other people's problems and other people's dramas and so they don't mind their business they don't mind their business because they're bored and they need to involve themselves in some type of drama or problems because of the addiction there is to problems drama suffering that's a really I made a post and I think some people thought I was asking what's the number one addiction but actually I was saying the number one addiction is problems people are addicted to having problems addicted to fixing problems addicted to having a story to tell about a problem okay hi may may okay and so they create drama or they get themselves involved in other people's business in order to have a drama okay I mind my business I mind my business so well that I don't give a damn about what you're thinking about what you're feeling about how you're judging me because those are your thoughts your feelings and your judgments therefore your problem not mine most people spend a lot of time wondering well what are other people gonna think about me that's you minding other people's business most people spend a lot of time how are other people's gonna perceive me that's minding other people's business how do they feel about me that's other people's business these three little simple things right here waste up so much energy this is the reason why most people struggle to have the energy that they need to create the life that they want 
most people struggle okay to create the life that they want because they don't have the energy the reason why is because all of it's being spent minding other people's business now like I say all the time I love me a good novella I love me a good drama but those dramas that I watch they're entertainment they don't concern me I'm unconcerned okay entertainment purposes only I don't take those dramas with me okay yeah hi Sandra darling yeah so a lot of times and someone says it's something I um combat a lot at work <clears throat> most places at work that's what they love the reason is is they're so miserable in their personal lives that the drama at work makes them feel important it may it gives them something real to talk about they're so miserable and unsatisfied with what they got going on for them personally okay I don't spend my time thinking about how what anyone thinks about me what anyone feels about me you can feel however you want to feel you can think however you want to think you can judge me however you want to judge me you can as long as you're not actually coming and hurt harming my person there's nothing for me to worry about but most people can't live that simply most people say they want a simple peaceful life but that they they themselves bring the drama constantly into their life because they're so addicted to drama okay it's a process so it's a very normal part of a spiritual process about getting to that point where you do not care what people think about you so someone mentions I struggle with caring about what people think about me that's normal because the world has taught you that actually it's more important what other people think about you than what you think about yourself and so it's a normal part of the spiritual process